Um, how do you change clothes about 50 times a day? What's wrong? What was that noise? Oh, I think that was my foot. Oh. I guess the desk. Thank God. Listen, there are some weird noises going on, but I don't think that's it. We're being haunted. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. It's November. And it's a side piece. It is. We got a short little story for you today. I'm really excited about it, too. I'm excited. Um, Hey, this is the Witch's Magic Murder and Mystery Mm. Podcast. And I'm Kara. This one is... Hey, that's Megan. (laughs) (laughs) Word. Um, This one is... It's like a, it's a, there's a witch involved. Okay. There's a murder involved. Also a mystery. Oh man. I mean, how are you, are you going to make a collage of like, Oh, the and ones? there's magic. Oh my God. Just do a it's collage the of the Holy Grail fourth. episode. Do a it collage of the all of them. Yep. I love it. I'm amazed. I'm amazed with myself. <laughs> Baby, I'm amazed the way you thug me all the time. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy that I just realized that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try to remember to point all those things out to you too. Okay, great. Okay. Also this episode, I think was suggested on Facebook. Not in our Facebook group, but like in the Kentucky Murder yeah. Minos group, I think. We are talking today about the Spurlington Tunnel. Ooh. Okay. So have you ever heard of no. anything? That, okay, good. No. Me neither. And but I love a spooky tunnel. I will not go in a spooky tunnel, but no. I love a spooky this tunnel is, story. This is a spooky tunnel, too. Okay. Okay. Let me make sure here we're good. All yep. Right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. Spurlington, Kentucky is a small community located just north of Campbellsville. <laughs> never heard of Spurlington. I hadn't either. I mean, I have heard of Campbellsville. But, yeah. I mean, I guess yeah, it's yeah. so small you haven't heard of it. Um, there used to be a railroad station there and a 1900 foot long railroad tunnel <gasps> that ran through mm-hmm. Muldrow yeah. Hill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a hundred foot shaft carved into the middle to release exhaust from trains <laughs> that went through. So it's this big, long Sounds tunnel terrifying. and there's a hole in the middle at the top. I so don't that, like it. No. no scary. No. <laughs> So back then, tunnels were carved out by hand. Oh, my God. So it was dangerous. It took a really long time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in 1873, while workers were digging out the tunnel, it was about halfway done, and the workday had ended on a Saturday, so the workers could be off on Sunday. Oh. Uh-huh. And at that time, the workers lived in, like, camps. Right. Near the site of yeah. the, where they were building. Or digging, I guess. Uh-huh. You dig it out. Yeah, yeah. And while they were off work and back at their camp, they heard the sound of a sledgehammer echoing from, like, the shaft of the tunnel. And they're like, who the, is yeah, it our they tunnel? Yeah, because they knew no one was there. Yeah. And they all live there at the camp, so they're looking around like, um, you're all here. Yeah. So who's... Who's taking over our tunnel? And the um, incident was actually reported in the newspaper, the Lebanon Weekly Standard, on February 19th, 1873. The workers said they heard, quote, very strange and unearthly sounds coming oh. from the tunnel. Oh. So then, according to the news article, it happened again the next Saturday. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out. And forget my pay. I'm there. <laughs> so at that point, the workers were like, all right, we're going to go. We're going to go figure this right. out. I guess the first time they all just sat there like, huh. I'm not going to go. Are you going to go? I'm not going to go. Let's just go sleep. Yeah. Like, I'm what tired. if somebody's just going to try to rob us? Yeah. No, let's not do it. But this time they were like, we're going. All right. We're so they scope it out. They gathered together. They got their lanterns, which makes it <laughs> sound even creepier. Yeah. And they went to the tunnel. And that's when they saw the ghost of a mule huh? walking toward them. No. Nope. Can you just imagine, like, you're standing there at the mouth of the tunnel, and you can see, like, something, and it gets closer and closer, uh, and you're like, a that's, a, that's a mule ghost. It's, no. No. I don't like that. Ghost donkey. Ghost donkey mule. Well, a donkey horse. Because <laughs> that's what a mule is. Um, oh, yeah. 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 Okay. According to the article, quotations here, okay? One of the men fired at it, and the mark of the ball can now be seen on a timber, which I guess means that the bullet went through it and, and left a mark, by, you know, in on one of the trees, trees on the yeah. other shot side. Yeah. The mule vanished, and that's when the phantom workman appeared. No. And he had, this is the weirdest like, just kind of close your eyes and picture it, okay? okay. My, guys, my eyes are closed. This big phantom workman comes coming out of the darkness of the cave uh-huh. with a dozen heavy hammers swinging to his body in a strange and unaccountable what? manner. Like Edward Scissorhands, but they're <laughs> hammers. <laughs> like his mule, he rushed from the cavern and vanished into thin air. Nope. And later on, there were more accounts of the ghosts of the workman and the mule. Uh-oh. There's a story that a mule was once lowered into the hole in the roof of the tunnel to, like, haul rock. And that that right. mule had died. So they think that that maybe is 
the mule ghost. Okay. And then there's also a theory that the but phantom. But why is the mule ghost associated with the man? I mean, maybe they're just like, hey, I died here and you died you here. Let's be friends. Which just, yeah. I mean, it's two ghosts in this tunnel. Yeah. It's not big enough. I mean, we get, we don't need to be enemies. So. Yeah. Right. So there's also you a theory. You give me ghost apples and I'll <laughs> give you ghost rides. It's fine. <laughs> that the phantom workman was a warning. Which makes it seem like maybe not he's not even a ghost. Like he's just, oh, you know, like a, a, well, a, a spiritual awakening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the reason they think that is because the cholera epidemic of 1873 began that summer and it started among crewmen in railroad construction camps. Oh. So they're he like, was like, don't come work in here. You're going to be too close. Yeah. Well, I think even it was though just you're like sharing a campsite. You know how um, people say that the Mothman, Mothman was yes. like a. If you saw him, it was a bad omen. A prophecy. Yeah. I think that's kind of what they're saying here. Like, the seeing the Phantom Workman meant something bad was coming. Mm. So, the tunnel was completed in 1874 and is now abandoned. But back in its heyday, the tunnel would have four trains a day pass through, carrying freight and passengers to Campbellsville and Greensburg, Kentucky. Oh. So, the Spurlington community began as a small settlement of farmers. Are you making fun of farmers? <laughs> Are you making fun of... How dare you? Uh, one of its residents was a woman named Nancy Bass. People referred to her as Aunt Nancy. Oh. And it's thought that she may have been related to several prominent families in Spurlington. hmm And some people believed that Aunt Nancy was a witch. Oh, Nancy. She didn't have a home, and she slept in barns and outbuildings. Oh. Apparently, so people were just like, you can crash yeah. here, or she just did it. And it's like, I think it's... I get the feeling it was such a small town. And yeah. And she's, you know, like, where I grew up is a small town, and a whole lot of people are cousins and related right. and not in a not in a weird incest history, yeah. but just you know yeah and uh, people families live there for several generations right. yeah so they probably all knew her so it was just like it's just nancy that's how nicholasville is so she was known to use her powers to cause problems if someone upset her oh she, she was, was like a, spiteful like people she said hex doctor. that she could mm-hmm. make yeah uh, i actually thought of her when you were talking about yeah. that um on the patreon episode because oh, yeah. They said that she could make cows go dry, <gasps> crops die, oh. and people fall ill. So mm. maybe she came from Pennsylvania. It's entirely possible. All right. So just remember Aunt Nancy. Okay. We're going to come back. Aunt to Nance. We're going to take a hard turn into a totally different <laughs> thing. <laughs> just like that. That's why wheels turn in hard, guys. According to local legend, mm-hmm. Jesse James. Do you know Jesse James? Yep. The robber mm-hmm. and his crew hung out in the area and they hid some of their loot in the Spurlington Tunnel. <gasps> now, this is immediately where I was like, mm, "That's questionable." Je- Jesse James, like, are you serious? Yeah. So Jesse James just happened to hang out in the area, so I started a googling. <laughs> we jumped down a hole. I went a googling, and I found, I found a few something. things. <laughs> I decided to Google something for something. I found this. I, I found a few stories Twinkies. too. <laughs> <laughs> I just guess I've never heard of anything about Jesse James in Kentucky, but also I don't know that. I've even heard much like about Jesse James. I feel like we need to go to that true crime place in Gatlinburg. We need to go stay a weekend and yes. go to that place. Yes. Yep. All right. So I found a story about how Jesse James was in hiding, eating dinner at a roadhouse in Bardstown on October 18th of 1881. So it's that the was right like time. the best home cooking ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the story goes that he was sitting there eating and somebody came in talking about how Jesse James and his gang had just robbed a bank in Kansas. Oh, shoot. Jesse... Of course, was like right there eating. So right. he knew he hadn't done that. So he got mad, stood up, <laughs> and told everyone who he was, and that he obviously did not rob a bank. And then he carved his name and date into a window pane with his <gasps> diamond ring and ran away. <laughs> his diamond ring. I think this ran is the away. funniest. Like, okay, so just imagine. Yes. He's sitting there eating. Uh huh. Somebody comes in. Jesse James done robbed a bank. And he's like, slams his like fork down and stands up. I'm Jesse James. I'm I didn't rob Jesse no James. bank. I'm sitting right here eating my chillings. And then you his, know I ain't done rob no bank. His next move is, I'm going to carve my name and date into this window. Y'all know, I, y'all know that I done been here. <laughs> I ain't robbed no bank. And you know that I had to take some time to carve into the... Yeah, like how big was that rock? So he like throws this fit and then like turns around and carefully like slowly carves it yeah. and then he runs away is he it's still wearing a, the ring when he did it i will i would like I to think that, that he, he did yeah i just think it's a I really funny it's on his image. middle finger and he's like carving with his knuckle out and he's like <laughs> scribbling on the that's exactly what I 
<laughs> but like it's so he took all that time to carve it and then ran off. I just think it's a really funny. Yeah, like if he didn't yeah. rob the bank, why are you staying? So anyway, when that roadhouse was torn down 50 years later, they saved that pane of glass. <gasps> And it went on display in a special case in Florida for a while. Oh. But then it was returned to Kentucky to the Bardstown Historical Museum. Okay, on my way. They lost it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bardstown, like, y'all are a mess. You guys. Um, so all they have is a picture of it. No. But in the picture, you can clearly see the etching of his name. Okay. Uh, so that's 1881. Mm -hmm. Would we consider that proof he was actually in Kentucky? I mean, pictures or it didn't happen. Yeah. So, yeah, um, for sure. And then <laughs> there are actually several other accounts of him in Kentucky in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Okay. This I wonder is, what connection he had to here. I saw something and I, I kept being like, um, I should... I should write that down. Yeah, but and it then just I didn't. was the thing that. But didn't it's like happen. he had family connection somewhere. Oh, it wasn't some like hot side piece. I mean, it could be okay. on a Tuesday. Okay, yeah. I like it. People in Logan County say that Jesse James shot a hole in the fish <laughs> on top it. of the weather vane. Stop it! <laughs> on top of the county courthouse. <laughs> that and is said, amazing. This is one of the weirder sentences I've read in a while. Yeah, I'm like, there's a fish. On a on weather, a weather vane, vane. On a on, courthouse. On top of the, the tip top of the courthouse. With a hole in it. With a hole in it. And, and people are it. like, yeah, Jesse James shot that That's hole. Jesse James' signature there. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You know how he, he, he likes to go shooting the fish on top of weather vane? I don't yeah. know. Like he's riding through, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's there's that's another his... one. Because <laughs> <laughs> <And, laughs> that's the sound of his bullet hitting the middle. <laughs> it's like the <laughs> most, <laughs> the cutest little bullet ever. Mm -hmm. So in 1868, he and his gang were said to have robbed the Southern Bank of Kentucky in Russellville. Oh, but there are contradictory reports that he, that Jesse himself, wasn't actually involved in that one. But okay. In 1872, the Jesse James gang allegedly robbed the Bank of Columbia and killed the cashier. Oh. And then in 1880, they allegedly <laughs> robbed a stagecoach near Mammoth Cave. Oh. I guess, like, all that to say, there are several stories that link Jesse James right. and his gang to the area. I so have no idea if any of them are Yeah. That he's been here. I mean, even that whole window pane story could be... Totally. Anybody could have right. got that, you know? Yeah. Um, but it does, it is a lot of stories, which is like where there's smoke, there's fire. So I yeah. guess we can't completely be like, oh, this didn't happen. Just cut yeah. Jesse James. It just seemed like a really extravagant detail, I guess. I like it, though. All right. So like I said, according to the local lore, Jesse James and his crew hung out in the area. They were coming through where the Spurlington Tunnel is, and they wanted to bury some of their loot from a mm -hmm. recent robbery. I love it. It was... Cited as the Southern Depository Bank robbery, but that happened in 1868, and the tunnel wasn't done until 1874, 1873, you know. So, but I don't think it could have been that one, but let's just enjoy the legend and, like, ignore the facts. Yeah. Um, or we could leave open the possibility that it was a different bank, or the right. same bank, but a different time, you know. Right. And there's also, I found a different version of the story that says the loot was from a nearby train robbery. Ooh. I mean, they robbed a lot of things. They so. did. They yes. were busy men anyway, and women. While they they were digging a hole to hide their goods, and then they one of them looked up and they see Aunt Nancy. Nance? She is coming through the woods, and she witnessed the whole thing. Oh, Aunt Nancy. Of course, they couldn't allow a witness to live. Right. Of course they can't. And what happened <sighs> next depends on the story that you hear. Um, there's three different things. One... Please tell me Nancy was like, I put a spell on you. <laughs> and now you're mine. <laughs> they killed her and buried her body along with the treasure somewhere on top of the tunnel they said this without is a grave treasure. marker. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the second one is they killed her and buried her body along with the treasure in the woods near the tunnel. Okay. Still no grave marker. Okay. And here's the creepiest one. They hung her from the smoke hole in the middle of the tunnel. Nope, I don't like that one. And some say if you cross the tunnel nope, from nope, one end nope, to the other and nope. then go back, you'll see Aunt Nancy hanging oh, from the smoke Nance. hole. Oh, we Aunt Nancy. Isn't that just Ooh, the creepiest? Oh, that gives me chills. <laughs> it's possible that, uh, I mean, I'm like, these could all be true. Maybe they hung her and mm -hmm. then they buried her body right. in the woods on top of the tunnel. Right. Along with the loot. Mm -hmm. Her grave and the loot have never been found. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Her grave. Yep. Uh-huh. And the loot. <laughs> ain't never been found. Ain't never been found. I ain't never been found nothing of it. According to the legend, Aunt Nancy still haunts the tunnel. Good for her. And here's the magic part. She put a curse on the money and anyone who tries to dig up the treasure. 
And I was going to say, let's get some yeah. metal detectors and go find them. But nope, sorry, Aunt Nance. I ain't crossing you. And then just to give some sort of credence to this whole legend, the 1859 census of Taylor County does have a Nancy Bass. <gasps> she was born in 1808, living in the Spurlington area. Okay. That would make her like a little old at the yep. late 1800s when this could have happened, but not like impossibly okay. old. But also she's a witch, so. Yeah, and we knew that one witchy lady was like real old, giving tinctures to people, killing people. Mother so, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. No. Um, uh, uh, what was her name? Baba. Anuchka. An- Anuchka. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Or Anuchka. Whatever it was. Yeah. We, who knows how to pronounce Names it. are good. No one knows how to pronounce it. Names are not good. Uh, just FYI, if you decide you want to go treasure hunting don't. or ghost hunting. Don't. Or just to check out the tunnel. It's like, it's on private property. It's hard oh. to get to. So you have to have permission. So you probably just shouldn't go there. But just enjoy the story like I did. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's it. That's our Tuesday episode. Hey guys. Isn't that great? Going up on a Tuesday. Ghost. Robert, Jesse James. Jesse Witch, James. Curse. Visited us on a Tuesday. Amazing. I love it. And we love farmers. <laughs> we love farmers. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we love you guys. Yes, and we'll so be back much. Friday with a full episode. Yeah, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.